Welcome back to Miss Eddie's Math Movies, where it's a cute to be a square. Today's lesson is 8.4, Area of Triangles. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to find the area of a triangle. When you're finding the area of the triangle, it's important that you can find the height and the base. So the height is the perpendicular segments if you have a perpendicular means 90 degrees. Segment or line from the vertex to the opposite side, which is called the base. So we've got height and base. Height is the perpendicular segment or line from the vertex to the opposite side called the base. Okay, so if you have a triangle, and if you want to find the area, you need the height. So it needs, you need to find the segment that makes a right angle. That's important. If you don't have this right angle, you don't have a height. So this right here is the height. And this here, the one that's making the right angle with it, is the base. You're always, always, always looking for the right angle. So if you come down here and look at this triangle, circle this. See? The height and the base have to make the right angle. And we talked about before that to find the area of the triangle is a lot like a rectangle. Right? But if we found, if we did base times height like in a rectangle, that would give us this much. And we don't want all of that. We just want half of that. So we're going to do the same formula as a rectangle, but then we're going to cut it in half because we don't want the whole rectangle. We just want half. The product of the base and the height. Compare and contrast the formulas for the area of a rectangle and the area of a triangle. How are they alike? Well, they both multiply base and height. Base times height. How are they different? Well, the triangle has the one half and the rectangle doesn't. Triangle multiplies by one half. The rectangle does not. It's just the H. All right, so triangle equals one half BH. Rectangle equals just B, H, because a triangle is half of a rectangle. So let's do some examples. Circle this right angle. We're always looking for the base and the height to make a right angle. And remember, your first step is always to write your formula. Area equals one half the base times the height. Well, I know, I don't know area, I'm going to write my one half, the base is 10 and the height is 6. So one half of 6 times 10. So you can do one half of 10 is 5 and 5 times 6 is 30. Or you can do 10 times 6 is 60 and one half is 30. Once again, don't forget your units. So you should do all your work over here so you can Follow along. Find the area of the triangle. All right, circle this right angle. That shows you where your base and your height are. So write your formula. Step number one is always to write your formula. The formulas get more complicated, so you have to make sure you're writing them down. The base is 8 and the height is 5. Half of 8 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 feet squared. So here was a right triangle. Here's an acute triangle. Now we're doing an obtuse triangle. Notice the height's outside, but that's okay. We still have to use it. It has to make the right angle. That's so important. See, the base and the height make a right angle. All right, first step is to write the formula. Next step is to plug in. The base is 12 and the height is 6. Half of 12 is 6. 6 times 6 is 36 meters squared. 
All right, I think below you have a right triangle, an acute triangle, and an obtuse triangle. All right, using your formula, one half, the base times the height. Please do not forget your units. I want you to do these now. Now we have to find the height of the triangle. Well, we know the area is 39, and it looks like the base here is 13. Well, let's write our formula. It's how we always start. Area equals one half the base times the height. Well, here we know area is 39, so I'm going to plug that in for A. Keep one half. Do I know the base? Yes, the base is 13. Notice here's our right angle. That's the base and the height. I don't know what the height is. I'm going to leave that as H. So 1 half of 13 is 6.5. H. So look, I just simplified. Now I'm solving for H. Divide both sides by 6.5. We have H equals. And now think about our units here, too. What our units are going to be. So we have 39 divided by 6.5. Our height is 6. And when we're talking about height, it's just regular units. Not squared. Area is what is squared. All right, complete the table at the right for a triangle with an area A. So here's the area, here's the base, here's the height. All right, so I'm going to do this first one with you. So we're, we always use our formula, area equals one-half, the base times the height. For the first one, area is 21, base is 7, and I'm looking for H. Half of 7 is 3.5, so 21 equals 3.5 H. Divide, divide both sides by 3.5. 21 divided by 3.5 is 6. The height is all right, now let's try this one. Area equals one half the base times the height. The area is 30. I leave my one half. I don't know my base, but I know my height is 10. Well, now we learned that you can multiply in any order, right? It doesn't matter what order you'd multiply in. So I think we should do half of 10 right now. 30 equals half of 10 is 5. So 5B. Divide both by 5. <laughs> what do you know? We get 6 again. Coincidence? All right, last one. Area equals one half the base times the height. You need to get in the habit of writing your formulas. And I don't know A this time, so I'm going to leave A as A. And my base is 8, and my height is 4. All right, one half of 8 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Area is 16. All right, so please, please, please write your formula every time and plug in what you know. Don't forget your units. This is just like example three. You need to go back and look. I want you to do these now. Our last example is finding the ratio of the areas of similar triangles. So if you remember back, the last chapter, we talked about similarity, all right, and so we need to find the area of one and put it over area of the other. All right, so let's do the area of this triangle. So area is one half the base times the height, so one half of four times two. Well, half of four is two, two times two is four. Now let's do this one, half the base times the height. That ends up being nine. So the ratio of the areas, this area was 4, this area was 9. So the ratio of the areas is 4 to 9. Let's just find the scale factor. If you remember, scale factor takes, so this one has to do area over area. Scale factor wants us to do side over side. So we're going to take one side from this triangle, put it over one side from this triangle. It is 2 over 3. Or if we did 4 over 6, 
that still would be 2 over 3, right? 4 over 6 reduces to 2 over 3. So our scale vector is 2 over 3. Now they want us to compare these. Well, these are different, but how do they relate? Right? How do you get from 2 to 4 and 3 to 9? Well, you square them. The ratio of the areas is the square of the scale factor. Notice if we take the scale factor and square it, we get the ratio of the areas. So if two polygons have a scale factor of a to b, the ratio of their areas is a squared to b squared. Kind of makes sense because that's what goes with the units. All right, so let's do one more example. All right, example five. And then you're going to do a checkpoint. All right. If the scale factor is 2 to 5, what is the ratio of the area? The area. Well, we just learned you take your scale factor and you square it. So 2 squared, 5 squared, that makes 4 over 25. All right, so here's yours. If the scale factor is 7 to 3, what is the ratio of the areas? All right, do this now. This is M cubed signing out.